one, two, one, two. Okay, those of us who made it in spite of the time change, let's give it up for ourselves. It's a perfect excuse to miss the course of miracles today. You know, so um, I'm going to start off by doing the guidelines of the course and also a few of the workbook lessons to get warmed up. Because sometimes when I lose my mind mm. and uh, I'll go to the table of con contents of the workbook and then I'll just read every workbook idea until I feel some sort of relief in my mind. You know, it, because at some point, if you go all the way through it, some, some little glimmering of sanity just might come through. <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, yeah. We're not, not going to go for too much. I hope so. Yes, yes, yes. So, so it's time for us to... Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Looks like you have blue, long dreadlocks. And I just grew them. Yes. <laughs> so you have a to the manifest is. <laughs> so I'm gonna just do a few of the workbook lessons and let yourself hear it. Who would that be a harvest for the world? Are you ready for a harvest for the world? Are you ready for a harvest of the world for the world? A harvest of love? A harvest of Love. Those who got some soul out there, but you kind of move a little bit. Let me know you can feel something in your body. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm 
ticket thing. You have given everything you see all the meaning that it has for you. You have given everything you feel all the meaning that it has for you. These thoughts do not mean anything. If there's something that you're feeling some stress about, if there's something that you're feeling depressed about, remember you can use lesson four. It goes, these thoughts do not mean anything. 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 If there's something that's bothering you today, that's keeping you from feeling a lot of peace today, I know it might be hard to think of something. But if there's something that you're not giving yourself complete peace about today, you might want to say, I am never upset for the reason I think. I am never upset for the reason I think. I am never upset for the reason I think. I am never upset for the reason I think. I am never upset for the reason I think. Now I am going to share with you what the Course in Miracles says that you are upset about. I'm going to share what the Course in Miracles says to you that the upset is all about. It's saying we are upset because we are seeing something that isn't there. And you're upset because you see something that isn't there because you are just seeing your own past learning. You're looking at something and you're using your own past learning to interpret it. Whatever you're upset about, you're given to meaning based on your past experiences. So you're reacting to your past experiences your past meanings, your past learnings. So you are upset because you are seeing something that is not there in the past. You're looking at the past. You're feeling from your past. You're feeling from your past learnings. What you learned in the past, that's what you're reacting to. That's what we are reacting to. That means you only see the past. You only see your past learning. And then that means your mind is preoccupied with past thoughts. My mind is preoccupied with past thoughts. Lesson eight. My mind is preoccupied with past thoughts. You know what? My mind is preoccupied oh my with past <laughs> thoughts. All I'm thinking about is something that's happened in the past. Or all I'm thinking about is something that I'm afraid of, or maybe not even afraid of, just thinking about the future. So I'm thinking about the past, and thinking about the future, and thinking about the past, and thinking about the future, and thinking about the past, thinking about the future, and thinking about the past, thinking about the future, and I'm thinking about the past, I'm thinking about the future, and I'm thinking about the past, I'm thinking about the future, and I'm thinking about the past, I'm thinking about the future, and I'm thinking about my past, I'm thinking about the future, and I'm thinking about the past, I'm thinking about the future, and I'm thinking about the past. I used to think about, I was thinking about your ass. I'm right. thinking about your ass and not the past. I'm thinking about your ass and okay. not the past. <laughs> <laughs> so, hoo, hoo. so that means I see nothing as it is now. I see nothing as it is. Is now. See, I see nothing as it is now. 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 I see nothing as 
see nothing as it is now. I can breathe. Because my mind is preoccupied with past thoughts. I'm thinking about the past and I'm thinking about the future, so I'm not seeing anything as it is right now. See, right now, there's only love in front of me. There's only bodies in front of me. There are people in front of me. And anything else I tell myself is my story. I should report, not judge. Reporting is, I'm in the room right now with people in front of me speaking. True. Everything else is my story. Then it becomes the people that like me, the people that don't like me, the people that look like they get me, and, nothing, and some people look like they want to get the hell out of here as fast as they can. <laughs> it's a black dude with blue hair. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> but it's totally acceptable in the Catholic Church. It's the meaning you give it. It's always the meaning we give it. Whoa. Man, man, man. I feel so overwhelmed that um, I don't know what to do with myself. Keep reading. <laughs> Thank you. Don't stop. Thank you for answering that. So perfectly done. Today I'm going to talk about something that's very practical from the Course in Miracles. And it's in the workbook if you have the book. And it's uh, on page 40 in the teacher's manual. And it's called, How Should the Teacher of God Spend His Day? How should the teacher? Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm going to. I don't have an old book. What, what's the name of that? Uh, how, that's the name of the section. Section 16, How Should the Teacher of God Spend His Day? Now, let me explain. The Course in Miracles says a teacher is a demonstrator. Mm -hmm. Get this together here. <laughs> no, that's why I'm not making a difference. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So a teacher is a demonstrator. A teacher is a demonstrator. A teacher, did I say a teacher is a demonstrator? And the Course says, so a teacher is a demonstrator. God is love. Freedom. Those are Course in Miracles definitions. So how should the teacher of God spend his day? Could be said, how should the demonstrator of love spend their day? If I'm going to be a demonstrator of love, a teacher of God, how do I spend my day? Loving. Well, there's two. That's right. They, there's, there, are two, there are two types of teachers of God. One type is an advanced teacher of God, demonstrator of love. And then there's the other one that's aspiring to be that. So you can tell which one you are by me going through this. It says, the, to the advanced teacher of God, this question of how should you spend your day is meaningless. So the ones you become advanced in your demonstration of love and truth how what you're going to do today is one of the most meaningless questions that you would ask yourself. Mm -hmm. So the question, what am I going to do today, is something you ask yourself before you're an advanced teacher. Mm -hmm. Wow. You know why? Because if you're an advanced teacher of God, which means you are an advanced person that takes responsibility for your experience, the Course says, you know that there's no program, and you know there's no program because you know the lessons change every day. 
Mm. You know, if you're an advanced teacher of truth, you know that you don't have to figure out what's going to happen today because you know that you're going to have lessons that change every day. And it says, yet the teacher of God, the demonstrator of love, the person that's ready to demonstrate love and truth, the course then tells us that that person is sure of one thing. The once you are advanced and you know your lessons are going to change every day, you are sure of only one thing, that your lessons are not going to change at random. Your lessons are changing, but it's no accident. The lessons you're going to have today are no accident. They're not chosen at ram random. And the Course says, so an advanced teacher knows that First of all, there's no program. Their lessons are going to change every day. Not only are my lessons going to change every day, but they're not going to even change at random. And I see that, and I understand that, so I rest content. Wake up in the morning, I'm cool. Why are you cool, man? Well, you see, I'm cool because I know there's no program. My lessons don't change every day, dude. And one other thing that's going to happen is that they're not going to change at random. I'm going to have some love lessons that don't change at random today. So I can chill. What does that mean? What does that mean? Well, the Course tells you. Well, you're going to be told all your roles should be. You're going to be told what your role is today. Then it says, and every day. So when you're an advanced demonstrator of faith and truth and love and spirit and you're connected to your source and you awaken, then you know you're going to get the lessons you need. You know they're not going to change at random. And you also know you don't have to worry about it because your inner guide is going to tell you everything you need to don't know. It's going to tell you what your role is every day. And not only that, your higher power is going to also do what? Uh, those who share that role with you are going to find you. Like your boss. <laughs> Where you at? <laughs> you been on break too long. <laughs> your partner. I saw you coming out that house. I found you. <laughs> your bill collector. I found you. <laughs> so those who gonna those who gonna share your role with you are gonna find you. Those who need to have that lesson with you are gonna find you. Everybody that needs to be with you today, they going to be sent to you and they're going to find you. So everybody that's in your present moment in front of your face was sent to you to help you fulfill the role that you're supposed to fulfill today. And we're together, he says, so what? We can learn our lessons for the day together. We're here so we can learn our lessons for today together. We're here so we can Learn our lessons for today together. together. Check that out. Check that out. Check that out. Check that out. It's not, it's not theoretical. <laughs> it's right here. It's happening. Right? Right? So kind of look around the room and see who was sent to you to learn roles and lessons with you today. And okay. They look kind of, everybody look kind of cute and juicy too. I'm like, yeah, we got some cool people we're going to learn these lessons with today. <laughs> <laughs> Testing one, two. Testing one, two, one, two. <laughs> now, then it goes on to say, okay, so if you're an advanced teacher of God, you don't worry about what the program is going to be because you know that you're going to be told everything you need to know and those who you need to learn your lesson with, they're going to find you and you're going to find them. That's the divine plan. So much for hunting for your soulmate. <laughs> because by definition, check this out, your one that's not your soulmate is the one you're hunting for. <laughs> because you never have to hunt for your soulmate mm. if the person's going to be sent to you. So if you're out here hunting, you looking for somebody that's not your soulmate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. get dressed for oh, oh. It's enough dealing with the new hair. Now you're going too far. <laughs> you, know, you just put too much on me in one day. I can't. <laughs> right? So, 
<laughs> then it says, no one is absent, absent whom you need. So there's no one in your life that you need that's not there. So anybody that's not there right now, in this moment, we don't need them. Anybody that's not here right now with us in this moment, we do not need them in this moment right now with us. Wait, like physically? <laughs> physically, <laughs> mentally, emotionally, spiritually, any way you want to think of it, if it's not happening right now, you don't need it. Okay, because just because you're not thinking about me doesn't mean I don't exist. So you don't have to feel like you're doing something bad when you're not thinking about it. Sometimes that's the best thing you can do. <laughs> Amen. Amen. The time you said that, I wish they hadn't thought about me. <laughs> and then, so let's get that straight then. Mm -hmm. There's nobody absent who you really need. There's nobody absent who you really need. There's nobody absent right now who you really need. And then it says, no one is sent without a learning goal already set. So anyone who is sent to you, you already have a learning goal that's already been set by the time they get to you, and that's to demonstrate love. Because you wonder, what is the lesson? To demonstrate the truth, to demonstrate love. Wow. Now, here's another tip. If the Holy Spirit or the divine sends someone to you to learn a lesson with you, it's always a lesson you can learn that day. Oh. So yeah. if it's coming from spirit, mm -hmm. we have a lesson to learn together, but it won't be two weeks from now before we can learn it. Mm. It will be a lesson that we could learn now. <coughs> So we're together with a lesson already set that we could learn right now. Yeah, you know, I'm saying what's right here. It's amazing how you can hear the chords of miracles when there's a group of people listening to it. You notice that? And those follow me, following me in the book, you'll know all I'm saying is what's on the page. I'm not making this up. I'm not giving you my wisdom but for your own good. <laughs> I love you. I'll spare you. Please spare me. We in stereo, Raj. We in stereo. Safer with you than with anybody. That's why we're all crazy. 
Yeah. Yeah. We, we so crazy we let each other have our own thoughts, feelings, emotions, and beliefs. Wow. <laughs> we so crazy we coming together to learn how to become more loving. Insane. <laughs> <laughs> we so open that we listen to a black man with blue hat. <laughs> Mostly white. <laughs> That's really a trip. See what I'm saying? Everything I'm seeing is the opposite of what I, I was taught could happen when I was a kid growing up in the South. I'm living it every day, the opposite of what I was told would happen, especially with people of other body colors. I'm so glad that it was wrong. So let's get this straight. Stop looking for your soul mate, your soul this, your soul that, not just a person, a job, whatever you're looking for, because the truth is, if you're aware, and you, now, don't forget now, I'm describing the advanced teacher. Now don't, don't be freaking out. Because if you're not advanced, you don't like what I'm saying. You're troubled. <laughs> so now you know where you're at. <laughs> you said the advanced one felt this way. And say, I don't like that because I thought I was advanced. <laughs> this book is showing I'm not where I thought I was. But you're further than you thought you were. So you're going to get this person. Nobody's going to be absent that you need. Anybody that's sent to you is going to have a learning goal already set and a learning goal that can be learned that very day. So this question of how you're going to spend your day is a superfluous question to an advanced demonstrator of love. So an advanced teacher is not concerned with any of that whatsoever. Uh, what does that mean? The question's been asked, the question's been answered, and what you do all day when you are advanced, he says, is you keep in constant, constant contact with the answer, which is your divine guidance. So a conscious being is constantly trying to be in contact with their own higher power their own inner guide all day. See, I work on how can I get rid of the blocks to my hearing, my guidance, more than any other thing I work on. Much more than I work on trying to be a successful teacher. Mm -hmm. Much more than I work on trying to make money, obviously. And much more... <laughs> Pass the hat. Quick. No, if I had higher self-esteem, I'd be passing the barrel. <laughs> so when you're an advanced teacher of God, you are set, and then you see the road on which you walk. Take picture this. You see the road on which you walk stretch how? Surely and smoothly before you. So all day long you're just looking at your road, all day long everything is just stretching out before you smoothly. Mm -hmm. That sounds like what I've asked a few women to do in my life. Okay, now, who's that? I was channeling, that was Comcast, that wasn't me. I was channeling. <laughs> Has anyone ever wanted anyone to stretch smoothly and surely before them? Raise your hand. <laughs> look around. Look around. Look, give your hands up. Give your hands up. Like, don't you feel more innocent? Don't you feel more innocent? You always feel more innocent when you don't feel alone. Yes. <laughs> you know, even the worst criminals in the world are hang out with each other and discuss their crimes. Because <laughs> they feel innocent with each other. You robbed the bank, I robbed two banks. <laughs> <laughs> you see, when you around somebody that's like you, similar to you, share the same purpose as you, it's almost impossible to feel guilty with a person like that. So, would you like to see your road that you're walking stretch surely and smoothly before you? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. See, you have to say yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Is that a trick question? You know. <laughs> All right. So before I go to the next paragraph, I'm going to take five minutes to discuss or make comments about this one. Yes. This is advanced. Don't forget now. <laughs> I'm describing the advanced teacher. So let me hear your questions. 
In the comments, yes. So, I mean, a healed mind does not plan. I mean, I really have a hard time with that. It's not planning at all. It just seems like they're just, fear just wants me to plan. That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's exactly right. Fear just wants you to plan. Because we know the creator is a slacker. <laughs> Depend on the infinite intelligence, you know it's gonna let you down. <laughs> and it's so. Let me explain that section. That, that that that's a very good question. Okay, the course and mm -hmm. what it just said here was, you will be told what to do. Yeah. Then you will do it, so it would look like you were following a plan. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? So when it says. A healed man doesn't plan. It's also saying a healed man carries out a plan. All right. Okay. See the difference. Plan of the teachers. Yeah. It's like it's right. It's like it's like you're not going to be left here without any way to express yourself because the Course in Miracles teaches that it takes whatever we have made and uses it to wake us up to the truth of who we are. So you don't have to be in opposition to the life you've made. You just have to be willing to have everything you may be used for your joy. Sorry. That's what you're being asked to do. If you have a relationship that's giving you hell right now, that relationship could be used to bring you love. If you were willing to listen to your teacher. So there's n your job that you just want to commit suicide before you go to in the morning? Mm -hmm. There's a way to look at that job that you could be there in total peace, mm -hmm. completely embrace it, mm -hmm. and because you completely embraced it and you're in total peace, you would transcend it to the job That's if you right. needed one that you would love. That's right. You would transcend your way out of it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm transgender. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it was transgender and it was transgender. And I'm transgender. Oh, I'm glad to finally admit that to you. <laughs> Any other transgenders out there? Okay. Look around. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> they great. Then it goes on to say, to, okay, now, hmm, this question here. Come in. Did that help? Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anybody else? Yes. I, I, just, I just had a comment I wanted to make. Sure. Because when you were saying that we're not as uh, far as, as we thought we were, but we're further than we, we thought are. we were. I, I'm very <laughs> encouraged by that because, like, I'm re like, as you're reading this, like, I know I'm not there yet. But there's a part of me that totally just resonates with what, yes, me too. With what you're reading. Yes. And it's like, it just like, it feels like so much joy around what you're reading. And so I know there's a part of me that's like, knows it and, and is there already. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. You wouldn't want to do it if you didn't believe you already were it. Uh -huh. Talk about the it. Because whatever it is, you can you can make that you can fill that it in. You can just go all it. <laughs> it, <laughs> it, any it, any it. You know, if I if I if I would not be seeking abundance unless I thought I was already abundant, I wouldn't be seeking love unless I thought love was already available within me and to me. Because you don't seek things that you don't really believe that you at some level is not compatible with who you are. Hmm. That's built in. So I, I'm sorry if you come to my class, I'm gonna say good things about you. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not approaching you like you're broke and you need fixing. Mm -hmm. I just, I'm approaching you like you just wanna remember who you really are, which is cool. Very cool. Very cool. Who is that according to the who you really are is the Christ, which is the one self we all share. That's the course definition of Christ. It's one of them. We are love. We are spirit. We are connected to source. Source is in us. We are in source. I like the word God, but I like to use a variety 
of terms because I know that many of us still put past meanings on those words and feel resistance. And so we think the resistance is to Christ or to the word Jesus, but the resistance is to the meaning I've learned to give it. Mm -hmm. So I'm always reacting to my meaning, mm -hmm. not ever to the thing. Mm -hmm. And that they, yeah. Jesus is neutral. That word is just a word. Yep. It's a word. It's just a word. And then you project your past learnings and experiences on it. Then you react. <laughs> you said Jesus. I'm not go crazy. You said Jesus. <laughs> see, and then you said so. I want everybody in the world to not say Jesus. Then I have peace. Don't you see how impossible that setup is? If you set your life up like that, mm -hmm. that everybody's got to change for you to feel okay. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be a miserable person. Because you can't, you cannot possibly control people at that level. Mm -hmm. So if you make your happiness dependent on everybody saying or doing something you like, good luck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It'd be much better for me to go, I have a misperception of the word Jesus. Let me get another interpretation of it that will allow me to keep my peace. Now, does that make sense to everybody? Yeah. Yeah. I need, it would be much easier for me to change the meanings that you have for me than for me to change you. That's advanced. That's what, that's what he said. That's why he said advanced teacher God is chill. And that's how I know I'm not yet. <laughs> so I want to get to what he says about the ones that are not chilled. Yeah. Don't you? Yes. Yeah, even though we hate to admit to ourselves that we're not advanced yet. <laughs> I thought I was so not more advanced than my cousin Bubba. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't see something hilarious and you got on my Facebook, go to my Facebook page and look up a video called Ultra Spiritual. Crack you up. I mean, I got so many responses to that video. Okay, now, here we go. What about those who haven't reached the advanced teacher certainty? What about us? Okay, what about us? He says, well, People who have not learned how to listen to their higher self and receive their role for every day and trust that everybody that's coming has been sending the perfect person and they can learn their lesson together that day mm -hmm. and there's nobody missing who they really need. People who don't think like that, he says they're not ready yet for such lack of structure. So you're not, and you and I are not ready for lack of structure yet. Mm -hmm. So, that, and that's what you were saying. When you said plan, you really were talking about I need a structure, <coughs> right? Mm -hmm. And so it's saying, well, what do we do yes. to learn to give the day to God? What do we do to learn to give the day to spirit? He says, well, there are some general rules that apply. Mm. And although each one of us must use these general rules as best we can in our own way. So you're supposed to use the truth as best you can in your own way. Not only that, you need to remember that routines as such are dangerous. Mm. <clears throat> the natives? Mm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know why? Because routines easily become gods in their own right. Mm -hmm. we'll, get, we'll get into the routine so deeply, we don't even know what we started the routine for anymore. Some of us, we call them habits. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, but you have some habits that you don't even know why you're still doing it, but you find yourself doing it. It's the routine that's become a god. So your routine can actually threaten the very goals that you set the routines up for. Because you can let the routine become more important than what you set. That's what's happened in, uh, uh, in, in a lot of cases in traditional religion. It, it, the form is now more important than the content. The ritual is more important than the love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go to church on Sunday, no matter what. Now sit there and hate everybody around you. <laughs> Because, but you did go to church. So the form has become more important than the content. The routine is more important than the content. So the Course says, now, broadly speaking, it can be said that it's well to start the day right. 
Okay, so the first thing you want to do, if you're not an advanced teacher, you want to start the day right, and always remember, it's always possible to start all over again if you begin the day wrong. Okay, so if you start the day off cranky, yeah. it is possible to start the day off peacefully, even though you start the day off cranky. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, <laughs> yet uh, going ahead and starting the day right has obvious advantages in terms of saving time. If I start the day right, and, and, and then it's going to save me some time from starting the day wrong, which means in fear and conflict and anger, and then having to come back later to change it till I'm starting the day with peace and joy. So why do I want to try to start the day all right the first time, boys and girls? Save time. Because it's going to save time. Save time. Save time. <laughs> you know. I'm the kid in the class that the teacher left in charge, but he part of the class too. <laughs> so we all equal here. How <laughs> you come down from Mount Lodo? Okay. So if you have not become an advanced teacher of God, what you have to realize is you got to use this truth that you're listening in your own way. Don't get so caught up in your routines that your routines are more important than what you set your routines up for and understand that you need to start the day off right. And if you don't, you can change your mind and start the day off right. But it's better to start the day off right in the very beginning so that you can save some time and have to try, not have, try to handle that later. Mm -hmm. Is everybody with me? Mm -hmm. Then it says, now at the beginning, it's wise to think in terms of saving time. So in the beginning, if you're, you, you're not advanced yet, you're going to say, I really want to save time. But that by no means should be the ultimate criterion or goal. But at the outset, it's the easiest goal to observe. It's not your yeah. ultimate goal, but it's the easiest goal. So why am I doing this right now? So I can save time. That's why am I doing this right now? So I, so I can save time. time. Why am I here in this room with the people that were sent to me that I could learn the lessons with right now? So right now, to so save time. time. Okay, all right, because usually that means most of the people that you don't have to forgive are not in the room. So it's saving you time. Mm. Because now you're not dealing with your grievances. You're kind of getting a chance to listen objectively mm. because the person you hate, hates somebody else. Mm. Okay. <laughs> So now I can listen and maybe deal with them later. <laughs> so, we, you know, we're saving time. Because that person, we um, have a contract, a soul contract, with to help us develop certain abilities. And so they agreed to play the role of the villain so that you could learn the lesson you all agreed to learn together. Mm -hmm. So usually the people, the souls, the parts of yourself that love you the most are the ones that are willing to be looked at as a villain because they know they're not going to be really appreciated a whole lot. So they love you so much that they're going to help you grow even while you hate them. Wow. By doing the thing you hate. Wow. So you can see where the hate's coming from yes. within yourself so you can forgive it. Damn. So let's just cut for our enemies and yeah. 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 There are some people that are just ridiculously dedicated, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, just brilliantly dedicated. They just, no matter what you do, they still piss you off. You know what I'm saying? All right, now. The saving of time is an essential early emphasis, which although saving time remains important throughout the learning process, saving time remains important throughout the learning process. Saving time remains important throughout the learning process, but it becomes less and less emphasized. So the more that I go toward my goal of demonstrating and having love in my life, the less I'm going to be worried about saving time. But at the outset, at the beginning, we can safely say that time devoted to starting the day right saves time. Mm. Yeah. So do you go straight to the email or do you go straight to your course lesson? Mm. See, you pop that TV on first thing or the news or do you go straight to focusing in on the truth? See, because, because you get upset when you tune to those things sometimes first now you got to get back in a good mood. Just like it was saying. Mm -hmm. So it would save time to start the day right. And then he says, how much time should you spend 
trying to start the day right. Mm -hmm. That's great. It says, well, your individual need is the chief consideration. Your own individual need determines how much time you should spend trying to get yourself together in the morning. Mm -hmm. But most people will spend more time combing their hair than focusing on the truth. Mm -hmm. Because we all know how your hair looks is more important than your salvation of the world. <laughs> okay, now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we know that. <laughs> you know how it works here. If you look good, you are good. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. I, sometimes, just because I have somebody look, I like them. Mm -hmm. If they look good, they must be cool. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like me and Siri killing the kill 64 people. <laughs> but oh, she's so cute. <laughs> okay, so remember, appearances are deceiving. Mm -hmm. Appearances can be deceiving. And a conscious being is paying mm -hmm. more attention to what you think than how you look. Mm -hmm. So the court says that <coughs> your need should become your first consideration. And this is a practical course. And you might not be in a situation that when you first wake up, you can go into meditation or quietness, it says. And if this is so, what you have to do is remember that you're going to choose to spend some time with God in truth as soon as you can. You can't do it in the morning because something is happening. As soon as you can, you're going to focus in on the truth. And then he says, and do it. Mm -hmm. Let him do it. Do it. Mm -hmm. Then it says, duration, again, is not the major concern. It's not whether you meditate an hour. It's not whether you meditate 20 minutes. It's not whether you focus in on the course 15 minutes. He says, you could sit still with your eyes closed for an hour and accomplish nothing. That happens in my classes. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes people sit still for an hour with their eyes closed, <laughs> sleeping, and accomplish nothing. So just because you're sitting quiet, you know, saying, you know, with your eyes closed, you say, that don't mean nothing. That doesn't mean you're really becoming more advanced and you're becoming more dedicated. The Course of Miracles says that well, you could just give God a truth an instant and join with God in truth instantly. You could just give the truth and some sanity one instant. Like when you're really, really mad and all of a sudden you realize, oh, wait a minute, I'm the one that's giving this all the meaning that it has with me. I don't have to be getting upset about this the way that I am. This person's not doing nothing to me. See, just in an instant, I could join with the truth. He says, and perhaps the one generalization, the one generalization, the one generalization that can be made is this. As soon as possible, after you wake up, take your quiet time. And I want you to do it, continue in a minute or two after you begin to find it difficult. So you sit sitting still, you're getting restless, you try two more minutes. If the restlessness does not end, then that's the time for you to stop. If the restlessness does end, keep going. That's your instruction. Yes. That's too tough. This is asking too much of me. What do you mean? Well, it's telling me that whenever I want to, as soon as possible, do it. <laughs> then it's telling me that I should do it, and then after two minutes, if I find it hard, it's okay for me to stop. I'm okay with God. But if I do take two minutes to keep doing it after I begin to feel my resistance, and the resistance goes away, keep on doing it, until when? Until I feel the resistance come up again. And then I keep trying for two more minutes after my resistance comes up, and if the resistance doesn't stop, it's time for me to stop the meditation, according to this, which doesn't have to necessarily agree with whatever school or whatever you're teaching or learning. So we, we clear about that, that you don't have to believe this, I'm just sharing what the course says. And it's not the only thing that says this, okay? So I think that's really interesting. It says that I could sit still for an hour and, and, and not really accomplish anything, but if I could turn my attention to the truth for just an instant, I could, I could heal immediately. And then it tells me that all I need to do as soon as possible is give me some quiet time, focus in on the truth, keep on focusing on the truth, during this quiet time until it begins to become difficult. And when it begins to become difficult, I should do it for another two minutes. And in fact, I do not experience the resistance leaving, then I need to stop right then. Mm -hmm. <coughs> That's what it says. That's what it says. Now, I don't believe that there's a person in this room that doesn't understand what I just said. And I don't believe there's a person in this room that's not capable of doing what I just said. That, so that means we must have gotten an answer 
that we could use <coughs> this very day. Would you acknowledge yourself for here? This is my show. Give it up to you. Come on, come on. I know. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Yes, 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 yes. All right, so I'm going to do a quick recap in a minute, but we're going to do the financial expression of appreciation right now. I really, really appreciate you sharing with me with my full time ministry with the Course in Miracles. Oh, man. I appreciate that so much. Um, also, those of you online who want to make a financial expression of appreciation, you can go to my website, earlperdy.com, and you can do it there. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate you. I really appreciate everything that's happening in my life right now, but especially you. You are an incredible, stupendous, wonderful, awesome blessing. I want you to hear that. You are stupendous, wonderful, awesome, blessing. A stupendous, wonderful, awesome, blessing. Do you second that? <laughs> Do you second that? Mm -hmm. Anybody, in, in, anybody else in here, they want to second, they want to second uh -huh. that? I third it. What, I like to somebody, uh, also, I'm available <laughs> to one-on-one -on -one sessions called Clarity Sessions, where I take whatever the issue is in your life right now that you want to have another way of looking at it. And then I bring the Course in Miracles way of mastery, everything I teach to it, as well as my knowledge of astrology and numerology for those who are open to that. So there are no original problems. I say there's no original problems. <laughs> so whatever you're going through, whatever you think you're going through, I want you to know that there's an answer that's already been given to that that's available to you unless, unless the suffering that you're going through means more to you and you enjoy that more than the answer that you might be getting. That's what the Course says. It says, it says, when you hang on to something, there's a payoff that you're getting from it, that you're not ready to give up yet. Isn't that a trip? Mm -hmm. There's something special that I want to share with you. <coughs> yeah. All right. All right. Okay. Is there anybody in here? They can answer this. One thing I heard today that I'd like to remember is. There's nobody missing from my life in this moment. There's nobody missing from your life in this moment that you need. If, if, I, if a person was allowed themselves to be with that, that would be incredible. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. um, there's no one missing from my life right now that I need. There's no one missing from my life right now that I need right now. There's no one missing from your life right now that you need right now. Let yourself feel the resistance to that. There's no one missing from your life right now that you need right now. There's no one missing mm -hmm. from your life right now that you need right now. That's not the same as saying there's no one missing from your life right now that you would like to have in your life right now. Did y'all get it? Mm -hmm. and I'm saying there's no one in your life that's not here right now that you really need right now. Mm -hmm. Did not say you didn't want to need them. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I'm gonna tell you something. I'm much more likely to be satisfied with what's available and what I can have that's divinely guided, that's supposed to give me exactly the thing that, I, that I'm supposed to have. I'm much more likely to experience it with who is sent to give it to me than somebody I made up that I want to give it to me who don't want to give it to me. Mm -hmm. And I'm spending all my time trying to get them to give it to me. Right. Mm -hmm. Then I'm overlooking all the love that's right in front of my freaking face. Mm -hmm. right. All the help that's right there in front of my face. Okay. okay. So, so it's always a trick of the fearful ego mind to keep you yearning for something that you don't have. It's a form of punishment on yourself. Mm -hmm. You're too innocent and you don't deserve that. So you obviously are not an advanced teacher of God yet. But you're innocent and mm -hmm. you also know that that means you need some form of structure so you need to start your day off right by focusing in on some truth as soon as you wake up but if you can't focus in on the truth when you wake up because for some reason you can't do it then as soon as you can you do it and if you start the day on the wrong foot as we used to say then you can always change your mind and start off in another way and when you're doing your meditation or your truth practice and everybody should have a spiritual practice it's telling us that you stay in the position 
of, of, of being centered and meditating or contemplating, and you do it until you start to feel uh, restless and you're ready to stop, and you keep trying to do it two more, two more minutes, two more minutes, past the time you want to stop, do it two more minutes, past the time you want to stop, and if the desire to stop does not go away, that's the divine time for you to stop. If you find after the two minutes you're inspired again to keep on focusing on your workbook lesson, for instance, then you go ahead and you continue to do it because it's what's in your consciousness that's going to create your reality. So everything that you focus on that's based on love and truth will create a corresponding reality in your perception of that. That's why it's important to start off the day focusing on what you want to happen. Mm. And then I save time. But then you save time for everybody. <laughs> Not just for yourself, but for everybody. All right, let's take a breath. Here we go. Lord, have mercy. Now I want you to let yourself hear yeah. this. And I also want to take a moment to send a lot of love and blessings to Zen as she starts her business press out of the that know that love is me, love is you, this is what we want to do, oh yeah, oh, oh, oh. guess what y'all, let's talk a while, let's talk a while, my friends, my friends, find out what's on your mind, find out what's on your mind, on your mind, on your mind, drift away, we got to drift away, in the dark, darkness. We've been sleeping much too long. Get up, stand together. We got to carry on. Let's carry on. What? All I want to do is rock with you. Shout it out. Tell your friends too. Love is me. Love is you. This is what we want to do. All I want to do is rock with you. Shout it out. Tell your friends too. Love gonna change every day but you're not worried about it because you know the lessons won't change at random you know those who are going to meet you are going to meet you that day you know no one's absent who you need you know that whatever you have to learn you can learn it right then because we got to carry on are we or are we going to carry on let's say all i want to do is rock with you. Shout it out, tell your friends too. Love is me, love is you. This is what we want. Come on, man. come on, man. It's rock with you. Shout it out, tell your friends too. Love is me, love is you. This is what we want to do. Is that good, buddy, man? Is that okay, man? Is that okay, man? Now remember, if you are not advanced, but you want to be, but you're not advanced right now, then you need some structure, a little structure. But you got to carry on. Say what? I got to carry on. Say what? Love is you. Get up.
So please show up for that for another adventure in consciousness. I love you. Hugs are available. And remember, no one is absent whom you need. May the course be with you. <laughs> Oh, I'm with you. Shout with you. Blow the